Hi guys, thanks for stopping by. Today I'm going to show you something new. Uh, we're working with Montessori math materials still, but these beads are colored instead of golden like the other beads. You're going to see what the difference is, and I'm going to show you how we use them to teach teens. So like counting 11 all the way up to 19. And if you're not super interested in that, go ahead and skip ahead about one minute from the end of the video. I just have some encouraging words for you in regard to teaching in general. So you'll want to stick around for that. Okay. Can we do that again? Okay, so let's check them just a moment. So you started with what down here? One. And then what? Two. And then how many is this? Three. Can we count them to be sure? But I mean, can we count the three bar just to make sure it has three beads? Can we count these? How many pink beads? One, two, one, two, three. Okay. One, two, three, four. Six, seven, eight. Eight, okay. So the next one we need to have nine, right? Mm -hmm. One, two. Nine, ten. Oh, that one's got ten beads. So, is it in the right spot? Three straight rows. Well, we needed one with nine beads in that spot, right? So, Oh, that one has nine beads? Yeah. I must have got mixed up. Oh, okay. Okay, so we built 11. So now, what is this? Uh, Do you know what it is without counting? Okay, so we have ten. And if we take two O. Okay, so we have ten and then two. Eleven. Twelve. Twelve. Yep, twelve. We made twelve. Okay, mm -hmm. let's do another. So what is this? Ten. ten. Ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Seven. Okay. I have fun. All right. Let's do another. So this is ten. Let's count them. Eleven. Eleven. Twelve. Nineteen. Nineteen. So the bar of nine makes nineteen. Wait, can we be doing new? Yep, let's do the last one and then we'll be done. We're gonna see if there's any more teens or if it turns into something else. Let's see. So we have another ten bar. Now let's grab that ten bar. So you already know this one. This is how many tens do we have? Ten. How many tens? Two. Two. And what is two tens? Two tens is the same as? Two hundred. No. Oh, two tens is the same as? Two. Two. Twenty. Twenty, yes. <laughs> two tens is the same as twenty. Um, can you... Can your fingers have a race with my snowmobile? My fingers have a race with your snowmobile? Yeah. Sure. 
Ready? <laughs> oh, you beat me. <laughs> you beat me. So then next time we do it, um, we'll move into me asking, like the second period would be like me having him tell me what is 12, what is 13, and so on. Um, this time is the first period is me telling him. Next time I'll ask him to tell me where each one is and count them. And then the third period would be um, me just picking one and asking him what it is and he's supposed to tell me. And I hope this, if you guys are watching this stuff, I hope that it's helping. I hope it maybe helps you, like if you're just starting out homeschooling like I am. Um, one of the things that I've already had to learn is that it'll feel sometimes like they aren't getting it or like, you know, you're teaching a fish that's flopping around on the floor. <laughs> huh, sometimes you act like that. But at the end of the day, they really do get it and he'll probably like do something. Um, you know, like maybe we'll be driving down the road and he'll count telephone poles and say, Mom, there was 13 telephone poles, something like that. And those things always seem to happen and it really validates that they are learning and they are getting it and usually when you present it is when they will act the most like they don't get it but um, if you keep going you'll get there right do you like math yeah